Hi everyone, it's Rose Clan, and yes, this is something different. And this is me looking at what's going on in Japan at the minute. Um, with like city leagues and stuff like that, what's being used because they have rotated, they're using new cards from uh temporal forces. So, this is a good indication. So, when this video comes out, it's about a day before or on the day where the pre releases will be out so people can be playing. Uh, pre-release boxes like myself will be on Saturday so let's see what we what we've got here now uh, this is what's been being played in Japan at the minute what's won these leagues but we're going to look at the ones only that win okay so surprise surprise there was actually a Giratina so Giratina let's put that into image Giratina do we that it looks like a standard Giratina deck, except for Buddy Poffins, Prime Catcher, and the Skateboard Tool. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. Please let me know what it is, the name, proper name it is in English for the skateboard thing that reduces the cost of your emergency board. That's it. And it reduces your retreat cost of the Pokemon it's attached to by one. Okay. So... Yeah, it looks like a standard one. Tempo Sino with jet energy. A little bit of a kind of two edge, you know. Yeah, it's a bit risque. Okay, maybe use something cows, you know, but okay. So that one, that. Okay, so that came first in this league. Let's go back one. Um, so that one in Tokyo on the 4th of March. Uh, but Bow Charizard was next, so let's get that on images. Don't know why. I wish you could just go straight to images instead of the actual thing, but it's fine. So it is a Bow Charizard, which is not surprising because in Charizard is very popular in Japan. Um, it hasn't actually lost anything from the rotation. If anything, it's gained thanks to Buddy Buddy Puffin, uh, or French Puff, Puffin, but it's called Buddy Buddy Puffin in it in the uk uh when it comes out which allows you to get two basic pokemon with less than 70 hp or 17 or less and put them on your bench and this can happen any time during the match which is really good um they have added mist energy which does protect your pokemon if it's attached to it it makes your pokemon immune to the effects of attacks from your pokemon uh opponent's pokemon which means say like frenzy gouging which is from Roy moon it can one shot you will not work stabilize will not work uh well star reckoning from giratina shouldn't work um it literally stops it helps you not be knocked out by Roy moon all the time <clears throat> but it looks like a basic normally they are going free free with babao and bidoofs which is very interesting they do like doing that in japan I mean, personally, I think the 2-2 two -two is fine. Maybe the free Bidoof Tuba Bowl, maybe. Just so you can guarantee to have that in your hands. I'd have double Charmander, to be perfectly honest with you. And just because you might prize one, you might have one in your hands. Then you, what are you going to evolve? You need to have double. If you're going to use Evolution and Babel, you need two. All right. So this person came second. Uh, he's got Prime Catcher. Um, it's not too bad, to be honest. So, third was... It looks like just a normal loss box. So, look. Ah, so it wasn't. So, this is kind of like a turbo loss box. So, you've got the Roy Moon, you've got Iron Hand, you've got Hooper. Hooper is actually... Hooper EX is actually quite good. Uh, it does for two Dark Energies, 50 damage for each energy on all your opponent's Pokemon. So this is literally a counter for Iron Hands. And it's not a bad counter at all. To get this set up, if you can get seven straight into the last box, do Mirage Gate, two energy, or attach a dark energy, put one from your hand onto that, attack with it, no more Iron Hands. And Iron Hands normally have about four if it's in the active. So you're already guaranteed 200 damage, which is 400 in weakness. Really good. You don't really need to use the third attack. But it also protects itself because it's a terror Pokemon. 
and it's fighting. So it's hitting for Iron Hands for weakness, which is not bad. The Iron Bundle's really good. Uh, two Roxanne, like that. Um, I don't think I like the one counter catcher, one boss. Maybe two counter catchers there. But the prime catcher, definitely. Uh, emergency board, good. Uh, yeah. I can see this being good. I have to try, try this out. But that's got third place. Um, let's have a look at the Charizard. Another Charizard got fourth. Um, so, pretty much, get rid of all these ads. <laughs> uh, hmm. One second, let me just move my camera. It's a little bit. All right. Uh, no, that's all one. That's the one. There we go. Almost there. Perfect. Sorry about that. Um, so you can see, just about see what's behind that as well. So it's Charmander and Jirachi. <clears throat> uh, they are using the Fluttermane, which does shut down your opponent's active Pokemon, which is not bad. And for a good store deck, it's not bad as well. Um, to be honest with you, it's, it's quite a good setup. I do like it. They're doing the free Bidoof to Babel, which I do like. Um... I personally would use Rasp, uh, the new card that's coming out, Stage 1, Rask, Raspa, Raska, Raska. Um, it literally has an effect while it's in on your bench or in play, it protects your Pokemon from all effects and damage and everything else, which includes de-evolution. So, if, say, you've got a Fluttermane in the active, and you've got two Charizards on the bench. You've got Raspka on the bench, protecting your Pokemon. They do de-evolution. It does nothing to your evolution Pokemon. I think it's better than having... It's not, it's literally a Jirachi and a Manaphy. So you might as well just put the, the uh, basic and the, ev the stage one of it in there. And still have the mana fee in that and just have one and saves the space on your bench. Um, and it's not affected by the evolution because it stops that. Um, catcher, counter catcher, prime catcher. I'd maybe go for pot, I would go for maximum belt and maybe just double up on the counter catcher. Uh, two bosses, fine. Um, in ciphers, that one there, uh, that allows you to put two cards onto your deck and shuffle your deck and you put two cards any cards you want from your deck on top of the deck i'd probably play two of them to be perfectly honest with you um so the reason it is it's kind of like having a pidgeot or a star birth from arceus every time you use it because you got the barrel so yeah uh skaters mercy board I'm not too sure maybe just for i don't know but it's not bad don't be wrong, it's not bad at all. So, it looks like there was a mill deck as well. So, let's have a look at this. So, it is using the Great Tusk. That will, if you discard the top card of your opponent's deck, if you've played the Ancient Support card, it's free more. So, you, you literally discard four cards off your opponent's board. Also, you put a Ancient Booster Capsule on it. It's got 200 HP. You can power this up with a double turbo or some energies. You're not going to use the third attack. It's just too much energy. But a 200 HP Pokemon that's going to be hard to hit. That mills four cards off your deck, every, your opponent's deck every turn. With all the other stuff you're going to be using as well. It's a little bit disgusting, to be honest. Uh, they are using the Pidgeot. They're using Explorers. Um, what is it called? Uh, Explorer's Guidance. Guidance. Uh, where it looks at the top six cards of your deck. You put two of the cards you want in your hand. Put the rest in your discard. Okay. 
So you've got two supporters there for Sada and uh, Explorers. Uh, you've got your power uh, Poker Gears to find that. So you're pretty much going double doubles. You're using Hedge Trimmer as well, which is a uh, hand trimmer, which actually... So if your opponent's got, say, 10 cards in their hands, you play this, and you they have to choose five cards they have to discard. Um, it's literally why of if your opponent likes to draw loads, punishing them. So, yeah. Um, it's got Prime Catcher as well, which is good to go swing up so you can you get stuck. Uh, some Fighting Energy and some Double Turbo. It's not bad. Not my kind of deck, but it is for some people. Oh, look, a Jim Pal. Yay. I like Jim Pal. As you know, I like Jim Pal. Uh, so this Jim Pal deck is... Listen. <coughs> no Mana Fee. I do like the free free. Fugu backs and back Scalabra. It's pretty much similar to what I use myself. Um, so the only difference is here you got Buddy Buddy Poffin, which allows you to find your Bidoofs and your Fugu backs and everything else really easily. Four Nest Ball. Yeah, I'd probably go three Buddy Poffin and then four Nest Ball because then. Because you need the next ball to find your Chin Pal, you need to find your Greninja, you need to find your Iron Hands. Uh, Buddy Poffin, you only need to get a certain amount of Pokemon, and you can use it any time during the match as well. It's not like VIP Pass, where you can only use it on your first turn. Um, so it's not too bad, and it's searchable with Idra as well. Um, what else is that? There's Cancer Clone, which is not bad. Two Pokestops. Maybe have the three Pokestops, because... You are using a lot of item cards, and it helps you dig into your deck. Um, Heaven Ball, Prime Catcher. This is another deck that really gets stronger, to be honest. It gets a lot stronger with Prime Catcher, being able to gust something up from your opponent's bench, and you can move something from, say, Iron Hand, so you can literally go, I want your Mana Fee, so I can use Green Ninja next turn, so I will Prime Catcher your Mana Fee, I've got an Iron Hands already juiced up and ready to go. Put that into the active. Take two prizes. They've got no Mana Fee. Next turn, they've say they've got a Bidoof and a, or whatever they've got. Let's say Gimme Ghouls. Two Gimme Ghouls. You Greninja them next turn. Bomb. Happy days. Win. So, Jim Pell, liking it. Uh, we won't go through all of them, but we are going to go through some. Uh, let's see. So, Ancient Single Box is really strong at the minute. I really like it. It's very strong, and it gets stronger the more cards that are in your discard pile that are ancient, and you have a lot of ancient cards here. So, this actually gets uh, 70 damage plus 10 for each ancient card in your discard pile. Now, if you've got 21 ancient cards in your discard pile, this will do 210 damage. No, sorry, 280 damage. If you've got 26 ancient cards in your discard pile, it's one shot in a Roy, um, Charles RDX. Right? It's three, over 330 damage. Okay? This is a nutty. You can use Dark Patch. You can use Asada to accelerate the energies. This one, <clears throat> Coridon, uh, will do 30 damage for a Fighting and Colorless. So it's really easy to set up. If you've got Asada, you go to second. For every in ancient Pokemon in play. So, your ancient Pokemon, not your opponent's po ancient Pokemon, yours. So, if you've got five, it's 150. If you've got six, it's 180, which is really good for a single prizer. Um, It looks like they're using Roy Mood as well, just the one, but they're using the sl Silver Ring look. This one. And I bet this is for Iron Hands. It's for Arceus V-Star. Anything that hits Fighting Weakness, this is what it's here for. And you're using Fighting Energy, why not? Why not use it? <clears throat> They've got... Um, get rid of this ad in a minute. Uh, let's see. Go away, ad. Go away. You go away. Um, yeah, so you've got what? So it's, what? it's 4, 8, 10... 11, 19, 23, 27. So you literally have to throw away 
everything to and be one off to knock out Charizard. <laughs> I think we need more ancient cards or it needs more Pokemon. I'm not too sure. But it's a really strong deck. If you get this doing your pre-release, without the Roy Moon, of course, uh, and the Greninja, uh, I can see this doing well in your pre-release. Okay. Uh, I'm going to skip. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, 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 oh. This one looks good. <clears throat> so they're using Raging Bolt EX in a Lost Box deck. Okay. So for this... Just for lightning fighting, uh, discard any basic energy attached to your Pokemon in play. So it doesn't have to be this Pokemon. Do 70 damage for each one you discard. So five energies, you're knocking out everything. Four energies, Arcus V-Star, Giratina V-Star, 280. It is a powerhouse. And you put a booster capsule on this, and it's 200 HP, by the way. So you are using Confis, Crams, Flutterman, Sluffering, Iron Bundle. Um, so I've got a little bit of everything here. <clears throat> I do like it. Future and Ancient combined. So you've got Sandy Shocks that can sell out energies from the bench. Well, from the act, um, from the discard pile. If your opponent's taking two prizes. Um, Iron Hands. I can see this working. I do like it. You've got the emergency board as well. Prime catcher. I like it. I like it. I think it looks good. I like it. Right. So there is. Let's see. Should we go? That's the top eight. We'll keep to the top eight here. Only top eight. Because this video will be eight. It'll be absolutely massive if I don't. Uh, is this the same ones? No, it's different. Oh, I'll have a look at this first. This looks interesting. Came 15th. Okay. Ting Lu. Ting Lu is coming back by the looks of it. Ting Lu, Squawker Billy, High Lucha, and Crawdon EX. The Evolution. Uh, so the Heavy Patan, if you didn't know, you attach this to a Pokemon that has four retreat costs. Exactly four. So Iron Hands, Ting Lu. There's a few like Snorlax and stuff like that. If it gets knocked out, you can put free basic energy from this Pokemon that got knocked out to any Pokemon in, uh, on your Pokemon on the bench is any way you like. So you put Iron Hands, you got four electric energies. You can put three of them onto another Iron Hands. So it's very good. <clears throat> what did I just do then? Oh, I did a silly. I did a silly. Let's have a look at that again because I like that. Right, so you've got Ting Lu, which can move energies back to Ting Lu or Koraidon. Okay. Uh, you can use Alakazam to move the energy around. Shut down people's Pokemon if they've got damage counters on. De-Evolution, Prime Catcher. Great Jaw Bug as well. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, I have no beard. I know. Keep doing this. There's nothing there. So it looks like a Giratina won again. Uh, this one's using iron, ha uh, iron Leaves, which is, if you didn't know, probably going to be in almost every deck that can use Grass Energy. Um, I need two of these for my deck that I'm building for London Internationals. I can't wait for this card. Um, I hope I pull it on Saturday. Uh Literally, it has an ability. If you if you have it in your hands, you slap it on the bench. If you've got energies on your Pokemon on the bench or in the active, you can choose to switch this to the active and then move whatever energy you like to this Pokemon. So if you're using Arceus Giratina, you've got some grass energies and, say, grass and psychic energy and so forth. You can move that onto this and it can attack hit for weakness against Charizard or Roy Moon doing 360 damage. Everyone's gonna be using this and I can't wait. <clears throat> so a lot of people are anti Charizard at the minute as well because it should be because it's a very strong deck. Very strong. So they've got the mana fee they've got one off stable iron cram one rock sand I'd probably have two 
Two buddy puffins, though. Buddy buddy puffins. Maybe three? Well, actually, mm, yeah, I'd still have three. You've got so many single prize Pokemon there. Hmm. Mercy board. Fossil stone. Wouldn't you want to be using Star Reckonum still of that? Interesting. Tempo Sinnoh with Jet Energy. It's maddening. But I've got Cancer Cologne and Prime Catcher. Eh, eh, eh. So it was literally a mirror match in this final. Oh, okay. So they're using Snorlax with Iron Hands. With Maximum Belt. That makes sense. Because then Iron Hands would be doing 170 damage. Which is enough to knock out a Snorlax. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. And you can knock out with the maximum belt with Kiratina. 330. Because you can knock out a Charizard with the uh, maximum belt. Okay. Muncy board. Another fossil stone. Really weird. Three buddy puffins in this one though. Interesting. Interesting. Please comment down below if any of these decks you think, oh, I'm going to try these out when it, when they come out. Uh, you can't really test them out yet. It's not out on TCG Live yet, so unfortunately. Um, but I will be testing these out in real life. Now, this is really interesting. So it's a Charizard lineup with a 2-2 Pidgeot with a 1-1 Babel. Hmm. And a Fluttermane. Hmm. It's got the Toro I like. Body Boffins. Three. Depending on how many single prize Pokemon that are under 70 HP, I'd probably have four. And the three Nestle instead. Uh, Counter Catcher. Jet NG. Collapse. Maximum Belt. Choice Belt. Choice Belt, yeah, with Charizard. Raging Charizard. Do extra damage. Okay. Okay. I could see. I could see. I could see what they're doing. Came fourth, another Charizard deck. Told you, a lot of people are going to be anti Charizard in, um, in rotation. So please beware. If you are going to be a Charizard, expect to see Iron Leaves or Maximum Belt everywhere. Right, so he's using a one Charm Alien, nine, two, two, Babel, Badoo from Babel. So it's quite lackluster on Pokemon, though. No Jirachi, though. Oh, no, she's got a Jirachi in her Manifé. Uh, no evolution, D uh, TM evolution. So the one charm alien, fine. Uh, four body puffins, two in ciphers, um, vacuum, counter catcher. Still no maximum belt though. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Right, we've got another mill deck here. So we're only going to top eight. Unless something really shine, you know, points out at me, goes, oh, that's really different. Mill deck, so Great Tusk again, Ancient One. Uh, mills four cards off your opponent's deck every turn if you use the attack. Mini Q as well, Marwile Trap. Oh, that's evil. That's just pure evil. Uh, Uri, this card, I've got to have two to three. I need, this is like a must have in decks. In some decks, because if you're going against evolution Pokemon that have rare candies, stuff like that, if you do this at the right time and they've got two or one rare candy in the hands and they've only got a certain amount, oh boy, or a switch card or whatever, you know what they've got in the hands, you can use this, use a counter catch or whatever, gush something up, they can't retreat. Yeah, very good. This card is going to be dirty. It's going to be used in stall decks. It's going to be used in like Snorlax stall, mill decks, um, Arceus decks. Hint, hint, hint. Yeah, definitely. This one, the dirty, dirty, dirty. What have I done? What have I done? Let's go back one there. Uh, let's see what else. Do you use uh, Erica's Invitation as well? Okay. So it's kind of like a Snorlax stall, but it's a mill deck. And they got this as well, the new Hero Kite, where it just literally flat out gives your any Pokemon you put it on 100 HP. So you can put this on uh, Great Tusk, and you have 240 HP. 
same things with these as well. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, Polkia. I've seen a Polkia and a Royal Moon here. So they're using Royal Moon EX with single prize Ancient Royal Moon. Okay, with 1 1 Polkia. With Greninja, Stork, Squawk, and Lamillion. All right, I I don't know what I'm looking at. It's a bit weird. And they've got Forest of Stone when they've got Polky out. And yeah, where's your energy acceleration set for his ability? But if you use Forest of Stone, you can't use the ability to power it up. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure about that one. Uh, it did get six though. Okay, uh, let's have a look at this one. It's came to seventh. All right, so another Pidgeot Babao Charizard deck, but you're using the Delphox, which is not bad. It looks like they've kind of squeezed stuff in there. Mm. Mm. Comment down below which decks you're actually looking forward to using um, in the rotation when the new cards come out. Please let me know. I would like to know. Um, okay, so this is a Lost Box, Turbo Lost Box. Raikou, Iron Hands, Roy Moon, standard. Now, it's, it's pretty much becoming standard now because Dragon Knight's going to be gone. Iron Bundle's quite good because you don't have the Scape Rope anymore. Uh, Emergency Board, Prime Catcher, Tempo Sinnoh, two, like, two Rock Sands. Maybe a little bit more gusting with the extra counter catcher, maybe or boss. Yeah. All right, Lugia. I've got to look at this Lugia deck. I know it's ninth, but I don't care. I think this is going to be really strong. Lugia will be coming back. I did say to everyone, everyone was saying, no, 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 it's not coming back. It is coming back. Uh, with this card, just one card has brought it back, and it didn't win a. Uh, league something as well. So Lugia did win this whole tournament as well um, before. I think it was about a week or two ago. Uh, this Pokemon, Chinchino, I hope you said that right. Uh, this was 70 damage for each special energy attached to this. You have five attached to this. It will knock out anything. Anything. And it's a single prize. Okay. You use this on a Lugia deck, which you use in the Archaeopsis to power up the Chinchinos. Snorlaxes, I'd probably have a second Snorlax so you could play more single prize gain. Three bosses, that's right. This one's using the Master Ball now. The Master Ball, the Ace Pack card. Pretty much, this is the only deck that probably will be using the Master Ball. And you can just search straight up. Any Pokemon you want from your deck, put in your hand, shove your deck. That's it. Because um, you're so dependent on finding Pokemon and then discarding them. I'd have it an extra Serena and maybe that new one, that discard one, draw how many Pokemon you po your opponent's got on the bench. Uh, so like draw five. Um, I'd probably have an extra Serena, then a Research. And a Jacques. Shocks good, maybe two shocks. Okay, okay, right. So we looked at them. Oh, there is some stuff here new. Right, I'll have a look at this one and then we'll go to the next one. So I see it as Zorak, Hisuian Zorak, and you know I like Hisuian Zorak. If you didn't know, for two colorless energy, this would do 50 damage for each Pokemon you have in play that has damage counters on it. So if you've got six, you're doing 350 damage, I think it is. Is that right? Yeah. No, wait, 300. You're doing 300, sorry, um, for six. So if you've got five, it's 250. You've got a double turbo on it, 280. Uh, you've got Gengar, it could bring itself back. Flutter main, interesting. You could put a barrel engine. So... 
<clears throat> you've just got the Gengars. You're going to use damage pump to move. When you put the Gengars back on to, from your discard pile onto the bench, you move the damage pump. Use the damage pump to move the damage around. You've got Shown's Care. Great Jaw Bug. The Evolution. Oh, Maximum Belt. Now, that helps against Charizard. So you've put a double turbo on this. It's doing... If you've got damage on all your Pokemon, you're doing 280. But if you put maximum belt on it it's doing 330 which can knock out charizard i like it i like that i'm gonna have to try this out i'm a big zorak fan all right so that one did all right uh this one could be interesting right let's have a look at this this came first and it is an path ex the normal one, Zatu, Fluttermain, Mew, Minikyu, and Cleffa. Interesting. You've got Tulip. Is it a... Eerie? Eerie? Eerie. Uh, okay, so using the Eerie, the Buddy Poffins, makes sense. Yeah, Buddy Poffin will work pretty much all of them, except for Fluttermain. Two double de-evolutions. Hero Cape, Gift Energy, Cushion Hammer, but no Pokemon uh, League headquarters. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. But the Cushion Hammers with Espathra is so annoying. So that came first. Right, Charizard came second. So, I, yeah, Charizard's going to struggle against that. And it's hit for weakness as well. It's Pidgeot, standard Charizard, pretty much. So for using four body puffing instead of four VIP passes. And it's using the maximum belt, fossil stone, counter catchers, three bosses. It's a lot of gusting. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a mixture of everything. Okay. Iron Hands, Kyogre, Batscalibur, Crime Catcher, Enciphers, that's good. It looks all right. It looks very interesting. Came second, so it didn't do too bad. Well, third, sorry. Uh, let's came, see what came fourth. All right, so... It's Lost Box, Turbo Lost Box again. Hooper, Mew. So the Mew's different. Hooper, very good against the Iron Hands. Royal Moon didn't knock out anything. Two Roxanne, I like. Prime Catcher, good. Crisis Punch, I like. Hmm. Interesting. Very fiery. Let's have a look at this. Came fifth. So the two chin pals, I don't like that. He's got to have three. He's got the Pidgeot, the Barrel Engine. All right. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. You've got Prime Catcher, Body Poffins. Yeah, I can see inconsistencies with this deck. Not enough Nest Balls, not enough Body Poffins. Well, just the right more. I think you need a few more. Nest balls and four ultra balls are given in this deck. All right, so I've looked at that one. I've looked at that one. I've looked at this one. Did I look at this one? No. All right, so maximum belt. Okay, let me just see how long it's going for. It's going on a while. All right, okay, so Roxanne. I like that. Uh, Toro, good. Buddy Poffins and Nest Balls. I think maybe three Nest Balls is probably needed for this. Four Rare Candies, Fossil Stone, Maximum Belt. I think Charizard needs Maximum Belt. If you've got PGR, Maximum Belt is really good because then you can just find a boss or counter catcher whenever you want. With PGR, with Quick Search, there's no more path. Yeah, I like that. I like it. All right, so we'll go to 7th and 8th. Oh, 
this one came first on the third so this person won on the third of march with this deck list he came seventh for the looks of it eighth uh let's see uh he's got to turbo so it's another one hooper iron hands roy moon iron bundle uh men's escape uh men's board prime catcher yeah i like i like so that was eighth wasn't it was it eighth was it that one i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm losing track oh no it is different they're using crisis punch in this one with jet energy only two buddy buddy puffins which is really weird four nest balls one roxanne flunderkill really yeah. okay 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 uh there is a soul rock lunatone mm. and the four picks and that mm. okay we'll look at one more one more and then we'll end it there okay so it looks like arcus giratina won this one and i'm a big fan of arcus giratina so yeah so a four four arcus i'd probably go four three you always go four three just so you can start with v star the v basic mm. two two one iron hand and a squivet all right so i would have cut the arcus to three the v star added a second iron leaves uh just in case you prize one or whatever uh, and you don't want to start with it because you want to play it from when you want to play it, you want to play it from your hand to the bench to activate, activate its ability. Uh, three Iona, okay. Four, three judges, okay. Three bosses, good. I'd probably say two Eries. I'd probably change that Shown's Care to two Toros to and deny your opponent a two Poiser. Uh, four Ultra Ball, four Nest Ball, three Caption Roma. Or I would maybe change some of them for a Great Balls, maybe. I'm not sure on that one. Uh, Lost Vacuum, Switch, Counter Catcher. I probably wouldn't go for the Counter Catcher because you've got three bosses. I'd keep the Maximum Belt. Lost City, yes, or Pokemon Headquarters to shut down because there's going to be a lot of basic decks. And being at, making them put more energy on, even better. Um, but that would help. Lost City would help against Ancient Box, to be honest. So, yeah. All right, you can choose. Either Lost City, comment down below. Would you use Lost City to counter Ancient Box, the single prize one with Roy Moon and Croydon? Or would you use headquarters, Pokemon League headquarters, which makes them have to use one colours more energy to attack? Please let me know. If it's a basic, by the way. So either Lost City or headquarters. Please let me know down below and what I should use. Uh, four, six grass, four double turbo, three psychic. I'd probably say four psychic there. Get rid of the jets, put an extra switch. Get rid of the counter catcher. Um, you put an extra eerie and an extra um, Toro in there. Probably take away one of the judges. Yeah. But definitely not 4-4 four, four Arcus. That's a little bit too much. But I like it. All right. So. Oh, it's a stall. Oh, it's Snorlax block. Of course, of course. So this one is the Mini-Q Mantine one with the Chilu. They do like their Chilu in Japan, uh, where it just for one fire energy, it will discard two cards off your opponent's deck. Not the best because it's a two prize and you put it in the active and it can be knocked out and you can give up two prizes. Mm. The Pennies, Misfortune Sisters, Iri. I'd probably have three of them to get rid of the switches. Um, Kel Como, okay, get rid of double turbos and stuff like that. <gasps> Sorry, and that, um, yeah, it's got the hero cape and Jewish cape, Temple of Sinnoh, 
shuts down uh, jet energy. That's probably one of the reasons why I probably won't be using jet energy in my Arcus deck because if I'd use a double turbo, it's not too bad. I could just put an extra. But if I want to gust something back up to the active, they've got this down, I can't do nothing about it. And that jet energy is just just a colourless energy. It's not really worth it. So, yeah. Mm. But interesting, though. Okay, so that came second. It looks like another Snorlax came third. So, look. See what difference this is. Looks pretty much the same. I think... Oh, so, they are using three Aries. All right. So, they're using the three Aries here, which is a disgusting card. But I like it. One Gil Como. Eh. They're using Law Module. Okay. Defiance Vest. That makes sense. Hero Cape. Okay. And Tepo Sinner. All right. So, not bad at all. Uh, oh, look. Future Box. Yay. I like Future Stuff. I like Future Box stuff. So, Iron Hands, Iron Crown, Maraidon, and um, Iron Bundle. Boulder EX. So if you didn't know, this Pokemon is new. Well, it will be new when it comes out. It's a 240 HP Pokemon basic. It's really chunky. And you put a... Oh, no, you don't. It's, it's a future one. Um, yeah, it's really chunky, that is. You put a Bravery Charm on this, and it's doing... It's 290 HP. It's really crazy. So for a Fighting and Colorless, it will do... 60 damage, and next turn, if your opponent attacks this, does damage to it or knocks it out, you put 8 counters on your opponent's attacking Pokemon. So you do 80 damage. If your opponent attacks you after you've done this uh, 60 damage attack, they take 80 damage. So it's pretty much like a... Uh, what's the one with the box for V Pokemon? Yeah, you know which one it is. Um, yeah, it's pretty much that. So, if you can survive a hit with this, okay. So, I'd do 60. If you you know they can't knock it out, but they have to do damage to it, that means then you're doing 140. Then you can use 200, add an extra energy to this. And you're pretty much two-shotting anything with this card. So use its first attack, soften them up, day after attack into it, that does 80 damage to them. Then you clean up with its power stamp and just knock out. It'll knock out anything. So it's 140, 200, that is 340. That's pretty much every Pokemon in the game so far, stage twos. So, yeah, I don't think it's a bad inclusion. And it can hit for weakness as well. Gets Arceus and a load of other Pokemon as well. Um, this is probably one of the most broken. It is an excellent card. Colorless Energy does 40 damage. When you do it, you search for two basic energies from your deck and attach it to any future Pokemon in any way you like. Shuffle your deck. And you can also do 160 with this as a single price. But you want to use it for the energy acceleration. And also, if you use any future... Ah, I've done it again. No, 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 no. If you use Iron Crown, which boosts while it's on the bench or in play, it will add 20 damage to your future Pokemon's attacks. Uh, and it stacks as well. So if you've got three of these, you're doing an extra 60. So that 40 damage you're doing with your Maraud on for colorless energy is now 100 damage. You put a future booster capture on it, it's 120 damage. All right? It's crazy numbers. Crazy. Mew EX, okay. Yes, I like that. Iron Bundle, yes. Bringing out the Arvins. Nice. Because that'll help you find your Techno Radar. Which is a better, it's pretty much a VIP pass, but you can use it anytime you want, and it's awesome for future Pokemon. Uh, future Pokemon have got so much good stuff. Um, I'm kind of glad they're using Prime Catcher over the Reboot Pod because the Reboot Pod is good, but being able to clutch, got stop something from an item, if you use an eye of Arvin as well, which is so easy to find, and you use Poke Gear so you can guarantee you find it. Yeah, I think I would probably use Prime Catcher over Reboot Pod because if you're using Maraidon, you want to be softening up your 
like stage two, you know, two prizes with more iodine. Then you accelerate energies under iron hands. You use let's generate to put more energies across the board. And then you they knock out the more iodine. You use iron hands. You knock out them, get an extra prize. You take three. Then they knock out your iron hands. You put another more iodine up. And when they knock out the iron hands, your heaven baton will move the energies to your other iron hands, promote another more iodine, soften up another two prizer. They knock it out. Iron hands again, so forth and so forth. That's how you want to do the prize race with this deck. So you're using four future boosters, three batons, maybe go for three. I'm not too sure. Um, four generators, yes. I'd probably, I personally would go three Moridons just before and three iron hands. Sole reason is you want to be using this to soften up your opponent's bigger Pokemon. So then you can clean up with your iron hands and take an extra prize. And you can sell our energy to more Pokemon. Uh, the gift energy, yes, I think it's okay. Uh, but Heavy Patan with Future Booster, with Generator, Techno Radar, and Prime Catcher. You've got Research, you've got Eye Owners. You're going to be fine. You've got Poke Gear. As long as you've got Poke Gear and you find what you need, it's fine. You've got gift energy as well. I like it. All right, so that was a future box that came fourth. Uh, Charizard deck came fifth. So it's Barrel Line with one Charmeleon. If you're going to use Barrel Line, maybe use two Charmeleons. I still would say use the Ras Raska, Raska, Raspa. You know which one I'm talking about, Fence or Fence. To your bench by anything damage and effect that includes the evolution. Still have Manaphy and Jirachi, you just have one, just one of them. That's it. I know it's stage one, but you've got evolution. Use it. Use Babel, use Arvin to find evolution, TM evolution, put an energy on whatever Pokemon you want in the active, evolve your Raspika and your Babel or your Char Charmander into Charmeleon. You're protected. You can't be de-evolutioned. Use it. Prime Catcher. I juice probably maximum belt in this kind of deck. Um, but it's searchable with Arvin. If you're not using the Pidgey up, use Prime Catcher. You can use Evil Uh Decipher, I'd probably say two of them. Just because then if you're not using the Pidgey art, you can use this so you can actually find, literally grab two cards. So you literally search for two cards from your deck. You shuffle your deck. You put these two cards on top of your deck. Use the barrel. There's two cards. It's literally a star birth every turn with this card. Two of them. Use it. I will be. Use it. Um, three bosses. Defiance Band. Fatality Band. Clap Stadium. Yeah, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Right, so I... PGR Charizard deck came sixth. Okay, so... Also Babel. PGR and Babel. I think it's a little bit much. Maximum Bell, okay. Uh, yeah, not a bad lineup, to be fair. I like the judges... Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Right. Seventh. Uh, Charles Arbor Bell. Okay. With Iron Bundle. I like that. Uh, Entei. And Raging Charizard. Okay. No Jirachi though. Use Ras Raspa. You know which one I'm talking about. Uh, Eerie. Not bad. Shout. Uh, it's Cyphers, um, Code Breakers Solution, or whatever you want to call it. I'd probably have two of them because you're using Babel, you can draw into it really easy. Uh, Prime Catcher, okay. If you're using the Arvens, Prime Catcher, Instant Gust, all right. Uh, eighth, right. Turn up. So it is an ancient box. 
Anthony using the iron hand, Croydon, Flottermain, Great Tusk. Great Tusk is probably there just to be thrown into the discard pile. Same as Flottermain. I'd probably have a few extra Flottermain in there. Just so you can add that extra bit. Uh, four, four of Sada and Explorer. Okay. Uh, Ancient Booster Capsules. And the new Ace Spec Awakening Drum. Draw a card for each Ancient Pokemon you have in play. So if you've got six, you draw six cards from an item card. Nutty. I'd still probably use Prime Catcher, but yeah. Uh, Superior Energy Retrieval, Super Rod. Why would you need some? Mm, I don't know. One Dark Patch? Mm, I'm not sure, but I like it. I like it. It's going to be a very strong deck. Right, so this is near the end. So I am going to go for seeing random cards. Let's look at this and this. So this came 13th. And this came... Tenth. So this came 10th. It is a Lugia. So three Chinchinos. No Snorlax, though, which I don't like. Uh, it's not bad. Hero's Cape. Mm, over Master Ball for this deck. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Giratina. Arceus. Yes. Maximum Belt. Yes. Maybe one more leaves. Yes. Get rid of the Arceus. One of the Arceuses. For free. Always the way. Always works. All you need. Caption Romas. Lost City. Okay. Right. Alright, so. So forth. That's what we've got to at the minute. Uh, I think it was that one that actually... Yeah. No, it's cool. Uh, yeah, so. That was the City Leagues in Japan. What is being used... In rotation, so rotation that has happened in Japan, they've got the new Tempura cards. They're getting to use them before us. Really unfair, but it is what it is. You've just seen what decks are doing well in Japan. So it gives you an idea for what to expect at London Internationals, which I will be going to. So please comment down below which deck you preferred, which one you like, which one you're going to use, and what cards are you most looking forward to. All right, so don't forget to hit all them funny buttons and likes and subscribes and all them jazzy stuff. And I will catch you on the next one. See you there.